Today's video is a great one and is for good investors. I'll be taking you to a local community in Africa where we'll be showcasing natural resources. Come if you don't know some of these natural resources and what they are used for, this video is for you. If you also want to invest on natural resources, this video is also for you. If you want to make money through natural resources, this video is for you. So come along as I will take you to a place where we'll be showcasing natural resources from a local community in Africa and you will have an impressive look at this. So come along with me as I take you around. Welcome to our channel. Today we are diving into the heart of Nigeria to explore Gombe State, a land blessed with abundant natural resources. From its sprawling landscape to its hidden treasures beneath the earth, Gombe is a gem waiting to be discovered. Join us as we uncover the rich deposit of gypsum, limestone, coal and more that makes this region a cornerstone of Nigeria's mineral wealth. Get ready to be amazed by the natural splendor and economic potential of Gombe State. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an exciting update. Let's get started. This is Kaolin. It's using ceramic industries. Ceramic industry makes use of this one. At the center of pharmaceutical industries, makes use of Kaolin. So it's of great uh, industrial uh, benefit. This is coal. We don't actually call it a mineral, but an energy resource. It's an energy resource because with this one, you can generate electricity. The source, you can generate a source, it's a source of power. So like Ashaka Spent Company now, they have a plant in Kumu, our local government, in which they, they use this one as a uh, the supplement or complement, yes, their power, yes, their energy there. And this is bentonite. It's used mostly in the oil and gas company, in drilling. Yes, they use it as drilling mode in oil and gas company for lubrication, yes. And we have a zircon monoxide. This one is an ore that constitutes most of these uh, radioactive uh, elements. Like this one, you can find a uh, cerium, you can find lanternum. And it's used in making magnets, it's used in making battery, and other, 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 other things. Like this one is zircon, use it in making glasses. Yes, and other uses too. Now, this one is amethyst, this one is quartz. They are ornamental. You can cut it, polish it, use it for jewelry. Yes, yes. And now this is mica. Mica, you use it in most of these insulators in electronics. You use mica. At the same time, it can be used uh, uh, in cosmetics. It can be used in cosmetics. Now this is lead. Yes. So many things are we use. You, you can use it in making lead batteries. You can use it in making a lead pencil. You can use it in soldering irons and other industrial uses, even in electronics. Not only this, it contains zinc too. It contains zinc too. Now, this is Vespa. Yes. Vespa is used in industrial purification. And you can see the lustrous, the virtual lustrous nature of it. You can use it in making ties so that it gives that shiny softness. Yes. And we have more here. Iron ore. We call them all minerals. You need to do a lot of treatments before you extract your metal. That's why they're called all minerals. You see, iron ore. You can see copper ore. You can see aluminium ore. So that one, once it is crushed, melted, then you separate your iron from it. And then you use the iron for any kind of industrial purpose. So it is without copper ore. So it is with aluminium ore. Yes. This is fluoride. It's used industrially too. You can extract your fluoride from it. Would you use it in the kitchen paste? Yes. And the hydrofluoric acid too. You can generate it through this too. And that is very right. Most of industry too, extractive industry, uh, like uh, oil and gas industry, use this one too. 
Well, yes, it will. And this is beryllium. You can see beryllium there. It's extracted from space. Make use of beryllium in making their brake system and other engines to make use of beryllium. So it's a so far, it's really blessed. Yes, thank you, sir. Guys, what you just see is just a tip of the iceberg. There are so many other minerals that have not been showcased now. But I'm telling you, if you have interest in solid minerals, let me know at the comment section, please. If you want to know more about what I just show you, let me know at the, at the comment section. I'm going to give you details of how these things are extracted, where you can find them. And I'm telling you that they exist in commercial quantities. Come on, Africa is rich. Gombe is rich. Nigeria is rich. Let's come and explore because there's so much more uncovered. So thank you for watching to this and I hope you subscribe and you're going to follow the every details of this series. Thank you.